join us on the red carpet. Hi, this is Kip Owen with Totally Hollywood here at Radio City Music Hall in New York City. It's a hot one today, but we're here for the world premiere of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harmers are raging, so we can't wait to check out the movie. Come on, let's go. Never ever get used to it. It's amazing. It's it's fantastic. That everyone comes out because it's it's really gratifying after working on a film for 11 months. It's amazing. Are you excited about tonight? Yeah, it's gonna be cool. It is insane. I cannot believe the amount of people, and some of them apparently have been here since nine o'clock this morning, and it is so hot now. I'm I'm really impressed. It's it's amazing. They're crazy. It's a lot of uh, a lot of people here. It gets more exciting every year, really, to be fair about it. it not died down at all yet. It's fantastic. It's just wonderful. It's such a response, you know. I feel great. I mean, I, as a producer, you're a creative, you don't want to say force, that sounds too pre pretentious, but you're, you know, a collaborator on the film. So it, in, a, in a sense, it's one of your babies. And you have to make absolutely certain that it's better in a lot of ways, that the visual effects are better. The kids' performances have moved up a notch. And I, I'm, I'm very proud of the movie and, and proud of the work we did and particularly proud of the work that Alfonso did. When I read the script, I was like, whoa, this is something really special. And then I read the book and says, definitely I have to do this. And then I saw the movies, I read the books, and I just fell in love with the whole, with the whole, with the whole universe. Are you a Harry Potter fan? Oh, yeah, we're huge Harry Potter fans. We're dying right now. Is this one of your favorite books? Oh, yeah. This is definitely. my favorite book, yeah. yeah. What, what are you most looking forward to seeing? Harry Potter, we just saw him. What's the coolest part about being 13? Um, I don't know, yeah, uh, I don't know, filming was wicked, yeah, the school bit's a bit, yeah. bit dodgy, but yeah. You get taller, probably that, because I've been short for so long and now I'm growing, which is great, because I'm, I'm still really short for my year, I don't care, I'm growing, damn it. Um, but that's probably one of the best things. Also, you kind of you go from that stage when you're about 12 and you start listening to really bad music and then you get to 13 and you mature and you can start listening to good music. Uh, there's not much change, but I suppose you're a teenager so everyone thinks it's kind of different, but there's not much. I don't know. It's the fact that you've got no worries. No, um, no strings attached. Do what you like, when you like. I like that. That's good fun. Well, these kids, are, look at them. They're in a red car, but they're so sophisticated. When I was 13, I couldn't even get out of bed without bumping into a few doors and a wall. I mean, it was, I was pathetic. I remember being very shy of girls, which, I've, which I'm glad to say I've got over. No. Yes. Um, oh, I wanted, to, I wanted to be a racing driver. It was horrible. <laughs> I would never go back there. A nightmare. <laughs> A nightmare in every part of your body. So if you had magic powers at the age of 13, what do you think you'd want to be able to do? Um, I'd like to fly. That would be wicked. And um, turn invisible. Uh, definitely fly Quidditch from around New York or something like that. Invisibility. I'll do it right now and off I go. No, I'm joking. Oh, just impart some knowledge to the same parts of the body. Yeah.